Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Imperion. All right, guys. So I have heard comments, I have heard suggestions, and I have heard ideas. All of which are spectacular, awesome, and I like them. Uh, now we haven't fully we haven't fully flushed out our interior down here. We still got open spots we're still missing things um down here in fact i didn't get uh i didn't get all of our blocks so but it has been brought to my attention and i kind of agree with this one um the shape is a little bit off it the comment was made that it feels a little bit unproportional and i'm trying to figure out exactly where the unproportional is and I'm wondering if it's these arms if these arms are a little bit too narrow and we need them a little bit bigger and a little bit beefier that's kind of what I'm thinking right now guys so here in just a second because we're gonna mess up here uh, <laughs> here in just a second I am going to try and see if we can't fix this a little bit so, like I said before, it was one of those deals where I built it and it just, it, it looked good at the time, but as we built onto it, it kind of, kind of needed a little, little change in here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to change it up just a little bit. And I'm going to see if we can't make these arms a little bit thicker. And in doing so, I'll probably end up coming in and trying to gut the arms and, you know, changing them up again. So, let me see. Okay, so we've got this. Um, how to... How to thicken... All right, let me play some stuff here. Oops. Okay, so see, that would work back with the way we just had it. Uh, I'm drawing a blank here. Hold on. I mean... Because that would go straight out. Okay, okay, hold on. I got to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to do this, and I feel like I'm doing it wrong. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's let's extend this out one. Okay, so if we were to bring this out. You know what? Okay, let me try this. Let me try doing it like that first. And if it doesn't make it more proportional, we'll do another one on the inside as well. And while I'm at it, let me go ahead and get another stack of hardened steel. Now, we might have to change some of our thruster values after this. Uh, add some more because we are gonna this is making it a little bit bigger a little bit heavier and then like so That does make it a bit beefier looking. I still, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that same thing over here on the inside as well. Uh, yeah, I think it will, I think it'll benefit us to have a wider, wider arm.
Yeah, see, that looks better, I think. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. Sometimes you just got to get down with the thickness. Yes, that looks so much better. I am glad that y'all brought that to my attention because now it now it looks a little bit more more proportionate. A little bit bigger, a little bit better. And, you know, okay, so we added on a little bit of armor. Let's go check our stats real fast and let's see where we're at with stuff. Okay, so... Because we're over CPU, I need to... Okay, so we need to go ahead and situate a quarter. Are my lights on? Yeah, my lights are on. Um... Um, um, um... I could... Do it up here. I don't know if that's what I want to do, though. The The thought of, like, putting the core up here, like, doesn't bother me. Like, I could put it right here and then put my captain's chair on it. But the fact that it's, like, up top in the front you know, in your face type thing. That's what bothers me. Um, now I'm over here debating on whether or not I need to pull this, pull this side back a little bit more. Urgh. Okay, so that will be the core right there. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and get these elevator blocks down before I forget and we end up having an issue. Okay, so the core is there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put... Of course, I want to see my core. So I'm going to put the uh, windows over the core. Like that. And then like that. So, okay, the core is behind that. That'll be good. Uh, now I need the extension. So there's going to be one. There's going to be one extension. For the tier two. Okay, where do I want to put that extension? Because I was going to put them on the sides, but I need to put the, uh, the other tiers on the sides. I'm thinking... Okay, so if we were to remove that, remove that... That brings us down to here... You know what? Let's put the core there. There, the extension there. And then I can do that.
And... We'll go ahead and mirror these two shapes over here with the windows, but we're going to do it with that. And then we can fill this in like so. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Okay, so we'll do that. And then I'm going to come in here because let's see. Because that brings us up to 500,000. We are now at 73%. Yeah, that changes. That changes our numbers greatly. Uh, come in for the tier three yeah that's the right one so i need two of these bad boys so i'm thinking i don't know what am i thinking maybe put them there Yeah, I think that would work. Okay, we've got to we've got to fill in this back side real fast. I got that on both sides. Oh no, we haven't done it on either side. Okay, so we need to actually fold this together back here. All right, I know what we're doing. And then, like so, flip that guy. All right. Yeah, I don't think we need that anymore. We are solid there. All right. Um, Landing gear. We've got two landing gear up there. I'm going to need landing gear back here as well. Let me cut a hole there. Drop that bad boy in. Okay, so we've got one, two, three. Let's see, the six. I would say that would almost be enough. We just need to come up here and probably take like that out. Yeah, see that should give us plenty of plenty of landing gear in order to set down like successfully and pretty pretty level, I would say. So the only thing about this ship as of right now that bothers me is how flat this bot bottom is. That's the only thing that is irking me because I'm just like, I don't like flat bottoms on my ships. So, I don't know. Maybe we might change that. We might add to it here in a minute. Let me see. Let me get back in here. Let me go to our stats. Let's check on our stats because we're at tier three now. We're at 596,000. So, all of our numbers should be accurate so we're at 14 24 28 38 uh that's good except for the side thrust i feel like i need some more side thrust so i'm gonna go ahead and add in two more of these mediums What does that do for us? That does 24 on the sides. Okay, 24 on the sides is something that's a lot more doable. That's uh, that's more acceptable, I believe. Okay. So we've got that. Do we have... We don't have any way to get into the ship. That's the problem. We've, we've designed the ship without doors. So, how should one access the ship? <sighs> yeah, I was thinking about that. Um, 
Okay, let me change. I'm going to change up the landing gear. Actually, no, I'm going to do it over here. Okay, so that brings that in like so. Let me come over here. Let's see. Boarding ramp. Give me a boarding ramp right there. I still need to put in ammo container. Don't let me forget, guys. I need an ammo container. Because y'all know me. I have a tendency I will forget. Oh, hold on. That was not... Animation's a little off for some reason. Okay, well, that actually works pretty well right there. I'm going to go ahead and put a armored door in place. Um, I really do like the way the new doors look, but at the same time, I, I don't like the fact that when you get sideways on a ship, it starts doing weird things, so I like the wider door. So yeah, I'm going to go back with the older, traditional, wider door. And then, I don't know, do I want to do... I kind of want to do a shutter door over that, just to give it some extra protection. But, you know, I'm thinking that's, what, two blocks? No, that's like two blocks and a ramp block before the door. So, yeah... I'm trying to decide on how, how secure I want to make things. Uh, cause that is in direct line with my core. But then again, it is, you know, it is right. Yeah, it is right there. So that is several blocks. Of course, then again, they are going to be shooting at this. Ooh, see, that's the bad part. Cause they will, well, they're going to be shooting up higher. Splash damage, maybe. Uh, let's just try not to get sh shot. Shot in the nose. I still need to put in shields and some other stuff too. So we got we got several things that we got to work on here. So what is? Why did I put this here? I guess because of this. I don't know. Don't know. All right, where are my shields at? All right, so we've got the T1 shield, we've got the T2 shield, and we've got polarized. Oh, that's for a POI. Um, 18,000 CPU, 33,000. That doesn't really matter. Are the sh sizes the same? This is what? A 3x3x3. Three by three by three. That is a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out... Because I know a tier 1 shield would probably be easier to obtain. I just don't know the difference. You know what? I can come over here. Well, no, it's not going to. Is it going to tell me? Shields. Oh, so you can only build the tier 1s. You have to upgrade it. So, two energy matrix, eight oscillators, ten capacitors, twenty flux coils, three power coils. Mm. You know what? I just realized if it's in a three by three, we don't have room right here. Ew. The only place that would have room would be right here in this spot next to the core which would then expose that okay so i need to i need to man okay hang on this is still doable we just got to we just got to slide the extension back Okay, so if I slide you back and then 
What is that? Landing gear. I really don't want a landing gear there, but you know, it's it's acceptable. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down a tier one just to see what it what it takes to upgrade. Okay, it did not put okay, because you can only put one. Uh, let's see, upgrade. It's going to take two energy matrices, eight oscillators, five capacitors, five flux. Really? That's it? Yeah, we might as well put a tier two in there then. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't about to get like ridiculous on the amount of stuff that it was going to take to bring it in. But that's not that bad. Honestly, that's not that bad. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to come over here now. Let's see. That's at the edge. All right. Let me do that. And then I'm thinking our ammo container. Do we have ammo yet? Controller or ammo? So, if I were to make two ammo containers, and how big are these ammo containers? They are sixty four thousand. So roughly, I have 128,000 for ammo. I would like to assume that would be plenty to house what we got for armament so far. And yes, we're still not done with our guns yet. We are going to put more guns out. I just haven't decided which ones. Uh, so we've got that. Let me see here. What else do I got here, guys? Oh, that's going to... See, I don't like that. Hold on. That's going to put that core right under one of those thrusters. Of course it is. Alright, changing it up. Changing it up. I was about to sacrifice style points here. I don't want to sacrifice no style points. I know. Y'all are like, huh? What? Why? <laughs> It'll be okay, guys. I have a plan. Okay, shield there. Yep, because that will allow me to wall that off. Okay, so we've got that. We've got ammo container there. We've got our two big storages. We've got three little storages. I still need room for like the fridge and stuff like that. I'm thinking I'm going to try to put that over here if possible. Um, or I could put it up here up top. I haven't fully, fully situated this shit either. Um, you know what? Let's do that. Let's get, let's get the cockpit. Where is the cockpit? Uh, I see the chair. Cockpit, cockpit, cockpit. Where are you? I'm so blind today. Seriously, you're going to make me... Oh, here it is. I was about to say, you're going to make me search for it? Alright, so let's say we put a block here. And then... Put a block there. Um, I 
I don't know. With, with as limited space as we've got, I'm thinking we probably ought to do it just like this. Um, hmm. What shape do I want to put there? No. No. Do that. I don't want to do that. I could do that shape, but then I'd have to change this out for that one. I don't like that shape. I don't like it. Problem is, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't do it elevated. Maybe we should just do it down on the ground because... It's just not quite big enough for that. Yeah, we're just going to keep it down here. I think that'd be the best idea. I wanted it elevated, but short of making making this top piece like one wider all the way around, which then that's going to throw off my other stuff. And my dynamics are going to look wrong and I have to redesign half the ship and so forth and so forth. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. All right, so what I do want to see, though, is what's under that. There's actually nothing under that. So I can put that back in there. Okay. Okay. I think that'd be all right. Yeah. Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. What are we missing? I kind of want to increase our forward thrust though. 23 is not really what I'd like for forward thrust. I mean, we've got more reverse than we do forward. We've got six versus what? Oh, versus five. Okay, well, what's behind this? A uh, that's the ammo, isn't it? Yep, that would be the ammo. So that is a negative on that one. Um. I think we're going to have to add to the bottom of it. I think we're going to have to put some like some sort of ridges on here. We're going to have to bring down these landing gear, which will bring down our thrust and so forth and so forth. I think I just think we need to have something. Uh, it's too. It's too narrow of a ship. These arms, I mean, they're only three tall right here. Over here, they're, what, one, two, three, four tall. So, yeah, we really need we really need to make it one thicker so that we have a little bit more play in here. Um, 
Now the question is, is how do I want to do that? That is the question. How do I want to do that? What I could do is let's just say I did something along the lines of that. Okay. Ooh, you know what? Got him. And that's how we throw in the extra thrust right there. I'll do it like that. Yep. Yep. That's how we do it. That is how we do it right there. Okay. So that's going to give us extra thrust right there. I'm then going to have to come over here. We're going to have to do something similar, but that's all right. We'll get to that guys. So we do have a game plan as of right now. We're going to add in a couple of those extra. Yeah. That already pushed it up to 31. Just adding in those two which should be good. Um, I'm still looking at some more armaments up here. Uh, so guys, I've been thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking on this. And I'm going to mention this right before we leave so that y'all can have time to comment on it. Um, I can do rockets. I can do heavy. Uh, I can do like an artillery or I can do like plasma. Um, the rockets or plasma would rockets would home in, plasma would hit hard and fast, and artillery would hit harder if it hits. That's the problem with artillery is it shoots so slow. Would it be good on a ship this size? to have two artillery guns on here to, I mean, cause yeah, it would, that would be two big hits, two solid thuds, but is that enough to, uh, to get anything done versus having a couple rockets or a couple plasma that could pound something a little bit quicker and a little bit faster. So that's kind of my thought process. Y'all let me know your thoughts on it, and we will go from there, guys. But for right now, I think she's looking pretty good. We're looking pretty solid. Um, I am liking the fact that I got those that we figured out how to add in some extra thrust back here. So I am digging that. I am liking that. And... I don't, the only thing I'm missing right now inside is the Pentaxid tank. I haven't forgot. We will put a Pentaxid tank in there. Um, and I know, of course, the fridge, armor locker, food processor, those are a given. Uh, O2 station, med station, all a given, guys. All a given. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, 
and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.